They've been called heroes by the international community, but the three Tamil doctors who saved hundreds of lives in Sri Lanka's battle zone are now being held by state security services, and concern is growing over their well-being. Two of the doctors are now being held in the Terrorist Investigation Division in Colombo, but no formal detention order has yet been issued. So that's a key concern because without a formal order, the relatives of the doctors do not know where they are. We issued an urgent action last night to all our members worldwide, asking on them to call on the president to ensure their safety, to ensure that a proper detention order is issued if they're to be charged, and if they're not to be charged formally, then they should be released. The third doctor is thought to be detained in hospital after being wounded during the escape from the conflict area last Friday, but details are sketchy. Thururaja Vararacha, Thangamutu Sathyamurti and V. Shangda Mugaraja told the world through internet video about the scores of civilian casualties in the conflict zone. They described how their makeshift hospitals came under almost constant artillery fire, suggesting it came from the Sri Lankan army, which denied shelling either the hospitals or the so-called safe zone. During the conflict, the government explained the doctors were under pressure by the Tamil Tigers to make critical statements. Now it's understood they're being questioned about their conduct and for allegedly making false statements. Three doctors were handed over to the Criminal Investigation Department. The Criminal in Investigation Department has issued uh, detention orders, has obtained det detention orders for these three doctors. And investigations uh, have commenced about uh, possible collaboration with the LTT. They were following their ethical obligations to take care of their patients and to appeal and uh, provide information if um, agreements were being violated and humanitarian law being violated that posed them and their patients at great risk. And they were uh, following the highest standards of medical ethics uh, as far as we know. Away from the pomp and the celebrations of the official end of the war, the immediate challenge for the government is to improve the lives of tens of thousands of Tamil civilians being held in army control camps. The situation as pitiful, there is not even adequate food for these individuals. So the key issue is that all humanitarian agencies be given immediate and unimpeded access to the camps. Another concern is that these camps are still under military control we're pushing for civilian um, management of the camps. Because of um, military control, there has been protection issues raised, especially as regards women and children. Without independent monitors in the camps, it's difficult to actually know what is going on. The government is screening the displaced civilians to root out any LTTE fighters who remain. They haven't given an indication when or if the camps will be handed over to civil administration. And it could be some months more before these Tamils are finally allowed to go back to their homes to begin a new life without the Tamil Tigers. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera.